Guys, happy Thursday. <laughs> oh my God, it's been a week, hasn't it? So yeah, it's pretty stormy on Venus today. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to go back and do Simon Magus. He is just, I mean, this profound, I mean, profound person. And I have been doing a lot of research on him. And a lot of people think that Simon um, and Jesus are the same person. I don't know. But this is, I mean, this gets even more interesting as we go on. So, all right. He also claimed to be a god, um, and Simon did, and yeah, he totally did, which was taken seriously as far as away as Rome, so where a statue was raised for him. So almost worse, uh, quote, his sect welcomed women and held that the world creating power was as much female as male. So we do have that. I mean, he's the founder of Gnosticism, so, so according to Epiphanes, he was an unrepentant practitioner of sex magic or sacred sex, traveling to the black woman called Helen the Harlot, who we will come to know and love, <laughs> um, whom he believed to be the incarnation not only of the legendary beauty of Troy, but also of the great goddess Athene, just as the Magdalene came to be associated with Isis and the Gnostic first thoughts. So that's the first thought of creation, everything coming into creation, into being. So that's what that's about. Now, yet Simon, the um, Samaritan, 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 or sorcerer, which means Magus, the sorcerer, um, had another role to play, which the gospel writers very carefully avoided mentioning, while at the same time blackening his name as vehemently as they could. Now, the, it, I mean, that's typical, very typical. I did not know anything about Simon uh, Magus from the Bible whatsoever. I never read a thing about him. So, however, the third century Clementine rec or the recognitions once again provide us, however, in or innocently with an astonishing admission. This is pretty, pretty awesome right here. It was an, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. It was in Alexandria that Simon perfected his studies in magic, being an adherent, an adherent of John, through whom he came to deal with religious doctrines. Now, John was the uh, forerunner of Jesus. Of all John's disciples, Simon was the favorite, but on the death of his master, he was absent in Alexandria, and so the Cetheus, um, a co-disciple, was chosen head of the school. <laughs> It's even more interesting. I mean, this gets even more interesting and more interesting and more interesting. Now, here we have the apparently um, the puritanical John the Baptist's favorite disciple being Simon Magus. So what's up with really, really, what is up with Simon or with uh, John the Baptist? The one man so utterly loathed by the church that he was deemed to be the very pattern of heresy and a sorcerer and sex magician. <laughs> So it is interesting that references to John's inner circle include a disciple named Helen, but Helen, presumably Simon's traveling um, equinos or sexual companion. Hey, it's a real, it's a real thing. Sex magic is a very real thing. So now suddenly, once again, the New Testament's presentation of the Baptist seems flawed to the point of a deliberate misinterpretation, which, I mean, it's obvious it's all deliberately to be misinterpreted because it's just a bunch of crap but anyway simon's interpretation was and is truly um undeniable so of course the infamous catholic bigot montauk summers had plenty to say in typical uncompromising style calling him quote one of the most famous figures in the whole of whole history of witchcraft yeah i don't believe that no i do not believe that for sure whose devilish practices were undone, unsurprisingly, by St. Peter, as the man who notoriously tried to buy the Holy Spirit. Yeah, how do you do that? How do you buy the Holy Spirit? Is it available? Is it for sale anywhere? Like love, love for sale? Is the Holy Spirit for sale too? Like in a little jar or something like that? I would love it. I would love to see that, but I doubt that. <laughs> now, the Magus gave his name to the sin and crime of simony or trying to buy spiritual uh, preferment 
Um, now, ironically, a favorite um, mode of corruption of the priests of Peter's church. This is this is just I mean a wild information. I mean this guy is incredible. So, but perhaps his greatest crime was being John the Baptist's official successor and a sex magician and an admirer of the feminine. So we got a lot of feminine mysteries, and it's it's really interesting too, especially with Asherah, God's wife, who and he did get a divorce, a divine divorce. <laughs> In many ways, he also seems rather modern, as Tobias Churton. Um, remain, or remarks in his the Gnostic philosophy, which is 2003. It would have seen, or it would seem that Simon was a, a humorous figure, as the Magus Alistair Crowley two millennia later, with a magician's taste for ironic symbology. I like. Yet Simon Magus was also hated because he was feared. So yeah, we get that. We we always get that if you're feared. You're hated. Fear and hatred, I mean, it's ridiculous. It really is. Now, as Carl Luckert in his landmark Egyptian Light and Hebrew Fire, 1991, he remarks, As the father of all history, he must now be studied, not merely as an opponent, but also um, a conspicuous competitor of Christ in the early Christian church, possibly even as potentially as a potentially ally. Huh. Wow. An ally for whom? The church? From the fact of their common Egyptian heritage may be derived, the very strength of Simon's threat. The danger um, amounted to the possibility that he could be confused with the Christ figure himself. Hmm. So, yeah, there's a lot of debate on whether or not Simon is actually Christ or, or you know, what's going on. I don't because I don't, you know, I don't. Uh, I do not believe that Jesus was actually alive. But I mean, we have, you know, um, archaeological evidence, you know, supporting that, you know, these people were alive, but nothing about Christ. So now like Jesus and the Magdalene, Simon seemed keen to return the Jews to a form of goddess worship. <laughs> Interesting, like Jesus and the Magdalene, he wanted to make everything go back to goddess worship uh, based on the Egyptian system. Now, Luckert goes on. He saw it as his mission to fix that which must have gone wrong, namely the estrangement of the entire female. Tetnut, um, Mahet, Nut, Isis, or Newt Isis um, dimension from the masculine godhead. So that's really interesting. That's really, really interesting that they're trying to topple the male patriarchy. And now they are trying to bring in goddess worship, which I think is incredible. So. I mean, the divine feminine was not, you know, treated too well in that time period, which I think, you know, again, beautiful, bring it back, whatever, you know, do what you got to do. So this is just a really, I mean, a freaking amazing figure in history. And it's just, it's beautiful. So, all right, let's do some coffee talk. So, yes, I just, I love it. I love this whole Simon character. He is incredible. Sure, yes. That's like, wow. There's this kind of figure, you know, that you can relate to in the Bible. And, you know, there it is again. He's popping up everywhere. It's because you watch a video and then they pop up everywhere. But yeah, it is really interesting. And I think you guys should really, really research. Um, Simon Magus, it was just, I mean, it's just incredible information. And I know that he does have a few books out there. I do plan to get them. So hopefully, you know, that will all work out and, you know, the book will come and blah, blah, blah. Okay. I hope you guys didn't think yesterday's video, uh, why this wish does not agree with Jesus or any form of Christianity to be um, evil or anything like that, because it wasn't. It was just, you know, a uh, just a, um, a reminiscence of a very good conversation with a very dear friend. Lady Blind Wolf, heart, heart, heart. I love you to death. You're amazing. Uh, Tony Garcia, I don't want to be on a big rant when it comes to this too, but they're doing the opposite of what the Bible says. Yes, they do. It, it's always like, don't judge, but they still do it. I know. I wish I could message you privately and tell you everything about how I feel too. You totally can. Totally can. Just find me on my uh 
um, facebook.com slash Ryan Occult Specialist. All my links in the videos below tell you where to find me. So just tell me. I am, I'm, I'm ready. And yes, I'm feeling a lot better. Thank you. Good. Good, 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 good. All right. Witchy boy. Hello. How are you? How are you? How are you? John Reynolds. Sue Ortiz. Lisa's life. Alexandra Hill. Smoothie shake. I love. Jay Phoenix, my bro. I hope everything is going well, especially with the candle magic that we did. It was pretty powerful. I loved it. It's kind of like magic is becoming addicting. It's it's like that's all I really want to do anymore. But I know I can't. <laughs> it's it's really I mean really addicting. And you guys are gonna love the magic or the candle magic book. So it, everything's in there. Let keep letting me know before it's done because it's getting there. Uh, okay, so Monique Trava, hi. Jay Phoenix, Witchy Boy, Alexander Hill, Daniela's Davis, Jasper, hi my Jasper, Amelia Fritz, Maria Renteria, Lady Blind Wolf, Warrior Girl, thank you for the kind words about my book. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That just makes me so happy. It makes me feel so good. All right, Lisa's Life, hello. Lou, my Lou, I love you. Giveaway, hi you. Um, Abby the Witch, Kali Fox Club, Mary Bouclard, uh, Wild Child Tarot, I love you guys so much. Bitter Almonds, Warrior Girl, Babe Magic, Soul of Thorns, Jay Oakley, my brother Gustavo. Who else? Who else? Anybody? I'm going way back. Way, 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 way back. The Partial Sun Metal, Metal Magic and Mayhem, Talon, Lily Moon, <laughs> Amanda Wilkies. Oh, you guys are amazing. I love you guys. Kim Lehman, I love you so much, my sisterly. Corporate Coffee Futures, Sheila Nabel. Um, Shadow, hi, my Shadow. I love you. Um, of the how or why of me, truly a holy enigma I am. Love it. I love that. I think it's amazing. <laughs> Carlos Colon, hello. Um, all right. I think that's it for the, for the yeah, comments, guys, so. Um, yeah, so they did find out that the police and the detective did trace to where the gun threat came from, and it came from my own city, and now I know who it is, and I think it's really hilarious now. I think it's very funny. Um, so yeah, if you do watch this, the police will be contacting you, and you will be, uh, yeah, just don't, don't try to mess with me. Threats like that, you don't do that, no. Especially in this time and age, um, when we are under, you know, scrutiny from so many different religions, like witches are under persecution again. It seems like it, I mean, everybody's, it just seems the point to, you know, the, it's like an inquisition again. And I really hope that never happens. I've always had a feeling that the burning times would come back. I don't know. I don't know if it will or not, but I, I highly doubt that. I mean, it's, most of us would not ever let that happen ever. So I, mean, I don't see how, but yeah, don't let people bully you because of your faith or your religion or whatever it is that you practice, or if you're different, you know, stick up for yourself because it's going to be more rewarding because those people are just low lives. So anybody that feels different or out of place or, you know, not loved enough, or, you know, they feel, do you feel targeted? You're always welcome in my little space here, always. Don't ever think that you're not because you are. And all of your flaws will be celebrated because I'm a very flawed human being myself, so that one out hey guys i love you guys all of my heart always thank you guys for the amazing comments you guys always have amazing comments but yeah make sure to leave your uh yeah your ideas and stuff that you want to see in this new book um leave them below and i love you guys and um all my love all the way from venus always well i'm on venus right now i love the lightning it's beautiful all the way back down so I'll see you guys tomorrow. So everybody have a good day. Stay safe, stay healthy, all that good stuff. And again, if you feel, you know, whatever, if you want to talk, I am here. I will always talk to you. So I love you guys and thank you guys.